Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be taking you through the user experience and also what's required from a configuration point of view to enable two-factor authentication using Secure Envoy as a Radius server into a Palo Alto Networks firewall, which we've set up to be our Radius client. The user experience is as follows. The user will enter their standard username and password. What I'm then presented with is a prompt to enter my six digit passcode, which is my second factor of authentication. As my user Tom.Hills has been enrolled into Secure Envoy to use a soft token, I need to open the Secure Envoy app on my mobile device and enter the code that I'm displayed on screen. I could have the code delivered via SMS or as an email or even as a push notification. I could even use a hardware token as well, should I wish. And I can manage those tokens at any time by accessing the Secure Envoy Manage My Token. But for now, we'll go ahead and enter the token that's displayed in the app on my phone and press login. We've verified the credentials are correct against Active Directory. And we've also verified the code that I've entered from Secure Envoy as well. And I am successfully two-factor authenticated into Palo Alto. How do we configure this? So first, we need to enable Radius and make sure that we set up a client within Secure Envoy. As we can see, we're into the Radius section now, and we can see that Radius is enabled. And there is the port, which is 1812 by default. You can, of course, change that should you wish. And then we have the ability to add a new Radius client here. But as I've already created one, if we scroll down, we can see there's my client for Palo Alto with the IP address in there, the name, the secret. I've also specified two-step, as we saw, we're prompted for a second stage to enter my passcode. And then I'm also selecting the domain for which users can authenticate against. If we jump into Palo Alto, we head to the device tab within the web interface. First of all, we need to tell Palo about our radio server. We come down to Radius, we click on Add, but here's one that I've created earlier. You can see there's my name, and I can also then specify the actual server details. So I've entered the name of my secure Envoy server, I've entered the address and the secret and the port that I've created in the secure Envoy section. We then need to create an authentication profile to enable users to use secure Envoy Radius. So again, add a authentication profile into the name, specify the type for Radius, and then your Radius server will appear in the list from the dropdown. I've then also allowed specific users to use this profile. As you can see, I've entered my user Tom.Hills, but you could do this on a group basis as well within Paolo. And that's it. When working from the Palo Alto side of things, don't forget to commit your changes. If you'd like to know any more about any of these solutions, please feel free to consult the online Palo Alto documentation. And for any secure Envoy information, please feel free to contact us directly, leave a comment on this video, get in touch. That's all for now, and we'll see you next time.